You're traversing across the slope, through the timbers, and find there is no way to continue. Your path has reached a dead end. You need to change directions, but you don't have enough momentum to turn up the slope quick enough. And downslope below you are hazards that you need to avoid. How do you avoid losing your sled to the hazards below while maintaining your edge? Hey folks, Brett Rasmussen here, and I have step-by-step -step instructions on how to change direction on a slope in a simple move we call the downhill switchback. We can do this without the need to drop to the bottom of the hill where getting out may not be easy. Often enough, we see running water and or fallen timber at the bottom of the canyon, or maybe it's very narrow and just not enough room to turn a snowmobile around. The downhill switchback maneuver is one that doesn't take a lot of energy to perform. It gets you going the reverse direction on the slope with ease. You just need to know the following steps and execute them with confidence. This came to me on one occasion, trying to climb a steep hill on a powder day after traversing out of the trees and into an open area. After numerous failed attempts and finding myself stuck, I learned that I could more easily turn downhill out of my traverse and use a downhill U-turn or bulldog maneuver to gain speed out of the turn and slingshot me into the ascent. This added momentum, putting me in a position to really blast up the hill further with each attempt. With a couple more tries, I was able to get to the top. When you're in this situation and you can't easily turn uphill into an ascent, try the downhill switch back to get you into a better position. This can be used for the climb to the top or simply to change direction and go back the way you came. Here's how we do the downhill switch back. While traversing the slope on your left edge, slowly let the sled down off its edge to both skis while turning downhill at the same time. Transfer to a neutral rider position momentarily as the sled comes to two skis down. Quickly hop over to a wrong foot forward rider position on the right side running board and counter steer to the left. This will bring the sled to its right edge facing downhill. Apply the brake and come to a stop. Done with the right timing, the force of gravity will hand the sled to you, negating the need to pull on the bars. Use the counter steer to control balance. At this point, you're facing downhill on your edge in a counter steer position, a great place to be that provides a number of options for where to go next. This maneuver provides a way to stop and control and rest, giving you time to evaluate your surroundings. To complete the downhill switchback, you can continue the right hand turn into a traverse in the direction from where you came. You can also continue the right hand turn for a controlled ascent up slope, or in the situation where there is a manageable exit below, you can simply keep your edge and continue downhill in a controlled descent. Sometimes it's sketchy to turn downhill when you want to be going up, especially in situations like the one I mentioned with a hazard at the bottom. But after completing a handful of these downhill switchbacks, you'll soon realize just how easy they really are. With that new understanding of this riding skill, you'll have no hesitation using it moving forward. Build your skill set by progressing through these lessons and practicing. Remember, practice gives purpose to your riding experience. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and tell me how your practice with this technique goes. Until next time, ride Rasmussen style.